Hey, good afternoon everyone. Tanya Gustafson here, nutritionist and fitness coach with Fit Nutrition. You can find me at fuelignitethrive.com and every Wednesday here live about 12.30 p.m. PST. So today the topic is going to be around supplements. And so why would and why when uh, would a health professional recommend supplements for you? A lot of times people are really questioning when a health pro suggests that they take a supplement or a protein shake or something of that nature. And so I just want to clear up when would a good um, recommendation be? What would that look like, right? So as a health professional, and I'm seeing people in my office all the time, and uh, first of all, I'm just going to touch on what are supplements for. Hey, Kathleen. Hey, Tara. Hey, Crystal. Hi, you guys. Thanks for joining. Thanks for all of you guys who are joining in live. If you're joining in uh, on the replay later on, we're talking about supplements and why would and why when would a health professional recommend them to you. So supplements should be thought, thought of as to fill the gaps nutritionally where we are not meeting them, where our bodies are, are lacking and where we could be deficient. So for example, um, Stats Canada now says, or Health Canada now says that we need a recommendation of 10 to 13 servings of fruits and vegetables every single day. Who has time to prep and do that? You know, in order to get your antioxidant support that you need naturally, that's what we're required. I know I don't get 10 to 13 servings of fruits and vegetables every day, so what do I do? I supplement, right? Okay, so there's an example. So you go to see a health professional, you go to see somebody about weight loss, or you go to see your doctor or your naturopath or your chiropractor, any of those types of people that are helping you with better health, and they recommend something to you. If you're not understanding why they're providing or prescribing that for you or recommending that you go purchase it or buy it from them, wherever it happens to be, ask. You need to understand what it is you're taking and why. And uh, you know, if you're really sciencey, you might want to ask about the study. I'm I was that person, you know, I'll read the books in the office. But you know, if you're if that doesn't matter to you, that's okay. You know, you're just gonna trust your professional. I hope you're trusting them. If you're going to somebody who you're not trusting, I suggest you talk to your friends, talk to another health pro that you know, and and get a recommendation for a second opinion um, or just someone that you're going to feel more comfortable with because I'm just going to go a little on an aside here. You are hiring them. They are not hiring you. Okay, so I've talked to a lot of older people who are really um, worried about losing their family physician but they're not happy with the care that they're getting. You are hiring them. You know, you may have inherited them from if your doctor retired or you got passed on to somebody else or for someone who got married and they moved here and their spouse's physician took them on. But, you know, it all comes down to sometimes you have to trust that person that you're dealing with, your personalities, your thought processes, your values, your um your look towards nutrition, allopathic care versus natural care. You you all need to have the same um same thought process there and the same beliefs there so that you're going to both work well together and synergistically for your own health to get the best results, okay? So if you're not having that need met right now, then go and talk to some people, talk to friends, family, people that you trust who are having good results, and then try a few other people to get some extra second opinions. So now, if you're health professional that you know, love and trust is giving you some recommendations on what to take. It's still good to know what's in them. You might just say, yep, you're going to take them. And then, but do take a look at what's in them and what they're for. So as I was talking about, antioxidant support is a huge one. We need that. Um, for weight loss, so what I coach, I recommend to people a lot of times a protein shake. Why would I recommend that? I would recommend that because um, when I'm talking with the person, I'm finding out what their day is like and um, I'm teaching them how to balance and how to eat their, their meals every three hours and they're just not able to meet that that expectation. They're just saying, you know, I normally was eating only two meals a day. I don't know how I'm possibly going to fit those extra meals in to make my, my life balanced. I really want to do this. I see the value in the program. I know that I feel better when I do it. So how can you help me? And so I would say, well, you know, would you be open to a good quality protein shake? Oh, absolutely. That's very easy. I can shake it on the go. Okay, there you go. For that person who doesn't eat breakfast, they're like, oh, I don't really want to chew anything in the morning. I don't have time to cook. I'm on the go. My kids don't want to eat breakfast, blah, blah, blah. Okay, well, do you drink coffee on the way to work? Yeah. You know, do your kids love to take a juice box or something? Yep. Okay, well, let's switch that out. You're going to take a protein shake. Everyone can have a water bottle. You could even shake it in the car. You know, you could even keep the bag in the car and put a scoop and shake if it's if you're that pressed for time. So those are the kinds of incidences where I would recommend a protein shake to somebody. 
So, you know, I see everyone's doing thumbs up. I know Nicole on there, she's great for that. She gets her kids going in the morning with their um, quality protein shake and she makes it fun. So her little guy gets his nutrients in and he gets to kindergarten and he's not arriving on an empty stomach. So, you know, two thumbs up for all you moms out there. Um, you're right, Kathleen, there is no easier grab and go than a shake, absolutely. And so then the quality is there. So you also need to be trusting your health professional that what they're recommending to you, um, it might be maybe a little bit more expensive than what your neighbor's using, or it might be a different um, brand, or it might be a different balance even, and you're wondering, hmm, why is, why is she telling me to do this, but my neighbor is telling me I should be, you know, that they're loving this thing. Listen to your health professional because they're the ones that are knowing what it's all about and why they're recommending it to you, okay? Because there, there's, there's a reason. We don't just randomly pull a brand out of the sky. Um, if it's a brand we're recommending, it's because there is science behind it. There is um, quality. There are quality ingredients in there. There are no gluten, soy, dairy, things like that in those products. Things that are going to cause us bloat. Things that are going to cause us discomfort. You know, and aside from specific allergies for people, and then we might need to look at a different product. But that's you know entirely different. Allergies are different than bad food ingredients, right, or, or non-food ingredients in stuff that we're taking. Um, metabolism boosters are another thing that sometimes people really benefit from, and so you want to get the kind that are not going to make you like this, like jittery, and, and, you know, and your heart palpitations go. You know, I had a gentleman in my office um, that when I was telling him about a metabolism booster, he was saying, oh, I took this thing before, and it was, and I said, and he goes, yeah, and I ended up in the hospital, and I said, yes, absolutely, you do not want to take those. You know, there are a lot of products out there on the shelves that, um, they don't belong there. You know, they're not safe. They get there and they're not approved. They come in through whatever source and if people aren't having difficulties with them or they haven't actually reported them, uh, maybe nobody died, it seems terrible to say, but those products remain on shelves and they're not actually pulled off because there's no court cases involved. There's no big, huge things going. Well, hey, hey, James, my cousin's on. Awesome. Family's joining in. Um, and so those are the kinds of things that you want to look out for. So you want to make sure that things are approved through Health Canada. Health Canada has very stringent guidelines. To get something approved in Canada takes um, quite a lengthy process. So if your health professional is telling you, yes, this is approved through Health Canada, great. You know that it is safe to consume and uh, barring, like I said, any allergies to a certain ingredient or something, then you are going to be getting a very good quality product that you can trust that is going to help meet your nutritional, fitness, health, uh, pain, whatever goals that you want to help manage or eliminate. So thinking about that. Another product um, that I recommend a lot and, uh, and it seems to be a big buzzword out there, I just did an article on it, is detoxing. So again, you want to make sure you have safe, natural ingredients that are gentle, that are not um, really super aggressive, that are not going to cause... Um, you know, contraindications with other things, okay? So you wanna make sure of that. And again, you also wanna try and um, get people value for their products, at least I do. So I, I like to recommend quality products. I like to recommend something that's easy for people to take. And so when you can find something that you combine the two, then that's a great way to, to recommend to somebody rather than saying, okay, I need you to go to this store, this store, this store, and buy that, that, and that, and then, you know, get a little scale and measure it all together. Yes, you can absolutely do that, and if somebody really, really wants to do that, I can show them exactly how to do that, and I'm happy to do so. But there also are ways where people can get awesome results with um, a product that um, that you can recommend to them that has good quality, that's all together, that they're going to get no waste from, and they're going to get better bang for their dollar, as well as great health benefits, okay? So just know that when your health professional is telling you something, it's, it's not wrong to ask why. Do ask and do understand why you're taking these things. They should be happy to explain it to you. They should be able to explain it to you. They should be able to show you where it comes from. They should be able to tell you why they are aligned with those products. Um, they should be using them themselves or have used them in the past so they know what um, is going to happen with those products when you take them or at least have a recommendation of what's going to happen happen when you take them and um, 
they should be able to help you um, to know where to go to find it if you have to do an online order, not just say, hey, go home and search Google, because <laughs> that's not going to help you. You may end up with the wrong thing. You may end up paying too much. You may end up buying from the U.S. when you could have bought from Canada. All those crazy things, right? So your health professional, regardless of who they are, should take that extra couple of minutes if they're recommending a um, prescription or a supplement or a, a gym or a fitness facility or anything like that, that or, or a another health professional even, they should be able to help you, send you in the right direction, you know, write it down where you're supposed to go, or help search online and send you the link, or, you know, they should be there for you. As I'm saying, as I said at the beginning, you are hiring them. So when people come to me, they're hiring me. I am working for them, and my goal is to help them be independent in their, um, in their health program so that they can get the results that they want and then keep them. You know, there are some people out there who don't teach the independence. They're, they are relying on their clients coming back repeatedly, 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 and they're just writing the meal plans all day long, all day long, all day long. And sure, I could do that too. You know, I, you could come to me, I could say, this is what you're going to eat this week, come back next week, pay me again, I'm going to write it down. Oh, I could even, you know, you could even hire someone to cook for you all the time. That's another option. But do you really want to be doing that? That works in that small bubble for you when you're at home, when you're you know, into your daily routine, your daily schedule, what happens when you wanna go on vacation? Out of country or in country? What happens when you wanna go camping? What happens when you go to a birthday party? Or eat out for dinner, or you get invited to a friend's barbecue, or you wanna to go to the beach even for the afternoon? You need to know how to live your life, so education is, should always be a huge piece of your health care. Please do not just show up to your doctor, your chiropractor, your massage therapist, your physiotherapist, your acupuncturist, your cryotherapist, your, nutri your nutritionist, your trainer, and just blindly say, you know, fix me. I'm just paying you, you're gonna do all the work. No, you need to be invested in your health. You need to step up, and uh, you know, I know it sounds like a little bit of work, but nothing we ever, get and have in life is ever um, you know work free nothing that we ever get and deserve and enjoy and really hang on to ever came you know just like that with no work involved from us right we always got to put in that little bit of an extra put a little bit of skin in the game you're gonna get a lot out of it so the topic today was about supplements and when and how your your health provider would um, prescribe those for you Thanks for all of your comments, you guys, by the way. You know, for all of you who are joining in live, whether you're local, whether you're, you're across the country or in the States, thanks for joining in. And uh, if you're watching on the replay, go back. We're talking about supplements, why your health professional would prescribe them to you, uh, in what instances, and what you should be looking for, and what your responsibility is with your health professional, right? Because we are hiring them, but we're hiring them for a specific reason, and we want results. And in order to get results, we have to step up and uh, do our part as well. So thanks for joining in, guys. You can find me always at fuelignitethrive.com, and every Wednesday here about 12.30 uh, PST time. And please keep putting your um, questions in the comments. Oh, thanks, Jess. Love you too. Mwah. Anybody has any questions or comments or topics you'd like to see me cover, please throw those in the comments, and I will gladly address them, answer them, and uh, see if we can get some more of them on the Facebook Lives for next week. All right? Have a great week. Happy Wednesday. Thanks, everyone.